Hello everyone, my name is Faith GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Expert Mode Let's Play. We're officially in hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. We hit hard mode in the last episode. Yes, I mean, we did die taking down the Wall of Flesh the first time, but we took it down a second time, which is cool. So, one of the things which is more of an immediate concern is this. As you can see, the corruption is not that far away from my base. So, we're going to have to go ahead and try to restrict the spreading of the thing. Oh man, I forgot this is expert mode. Everybody's gonna have so much more health. Like that guy's got 500 health, for example, which is just stupid amount of health. It really is quite stupid. Oh god. Here comes the corruption dudes. Alright, we need to try and really get this thing going as soon as possible. This could be... This could get rather annoying, actually. Right, okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna go over here. Got the sunflower there. We're gonna try and do a little thing. Oh, no, no, no. He did lots of damage. Will you please bugger off? I am trying to dig holes, sir. Alright, here we go. That should do the job. Right, now then. The the hole needs to be three blocks wide. At least three blocks wide in order to halt the spreading of whatever it is that may be trying to spread. So, we're going to try and dig down as far as we can. And hopefully we should be able to find something. And we should therefore be able to restrict the spreading of the corruption. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm killing these guys with a molten pickaxe. This is stupid. I don't normally do this. Oh, man. I think he picked up money as well. That's why he's sparkling. Damn guy. I don't know. Everybody just wants to steal my money on this let's play. It's horrible, man. It really is quite horrible. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's continue digging this hole and hopefully restrict the spreading of the corruption. And I'll be back momentarily. Alright guys, so I've done a bunch of digging and I think I've got this to the point where I don't think the corruption is going to spread to our house. Not at least for a very, very, very long time. So I think we'll be good to go, hopefully for the rest of the series, without our house becoming corruptified. So yeah, as you can see, it's all been restricted to sort of underneath this big area. So if we just look at the map really quick, it goes like here, then round there, then down here, then down here, and then yeah. Pretty much all of the corruption should stay on this side here as opposed to moving on to this side and therefore this mountain and eventually my house so yeah i think we'll be good to go okay so oh i'm gonna have a new quest now dang it i did have a fishing quest active actually which was to catch something on the surface tundra uh where is he this time hey buddy what you got for me this time caught in underground caverns bonefish okay interesting uh, yeah, seems like a, seems like a cool thing to do. We've got our Fisher of Souls, we've got this stuff, we've got the Purple Emperor Butterfly, we've got Journeyman Bait. This should all be good to go, we just need to go down to where it says Caverns, right here. There we go, it says Caverns now. Uh, it should do the job. Yep, we're just about in the cavern there. Cool, okay, so let's see if we can't get ourselves a Bonefish. Come on, first time, first time, be lucky, be lucky. Come on. Come on, you gonna do this for me? What's that? Bass? Ah, uh, no sign. What's that? Specular fish? Not quite, buddy. Not quite. What's that? More bass? We really need to kill that guy because he's gonna get on my nerves. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's right. These guys are useless in the water. I forgot about that. <laughs> Lol. Right, okay, that guy's dead. We can actually get on with our fishing uninterrupted, and we should be able to hopefully catch ourselves a bonefish. If we manage to do that, that'd be awesome. If not, then oh well. Right, okay. Got a crate. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice and hard mode, I guess. Yeah, I'm all right with that. More bass. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I think I'll do what I normally wind up doing, which is... Oh, God damn it, these plumbing... I'm going to have to block this thing off, aren't I? All right, you get out of here. I'm going to block uh, this top bit off if I can there we go ain't no one coming down from the right hand side fools damn guys all right I'm gonna continue on my friends and I'll be back momentarily aha bonefish up in here nice okay let's go see what we get from the little guy hey buddy what you got Crate potions and gold. Man, crate potions are awesome. We should totally go for a, a big crate fishing session, shouldn't we? Right, okay, okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do a bit of a crate fishing session of awesomeness. going to put the crates in there for now. But, of course, we will go ahead and, you know, do the old 
thing where we open them all up and hopefully get ourselves a whole bunch of hard mode ores because that, my friends, is what I would really like to have. Right, do I have any fishing potions in here by any chance? Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> now we don't. Okay, that's a shame. Okay, where's our nearest large fishing pool of pooliness? It is underground, isn't it, pretty much? Or we can go here. Yeah, this could probably do the job. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab some more bait out. That's 30%. That's 25. Yeah, this is all pretty good bait, actually. So I'm going to take it all out. There we go. So we've got nine minutes worth of crate fishing. This should be pretty interesting. And I'll tell you what, we're going to do it in the form of a montage, my friends. So let's go down to the pond and do some fishing, shall we? Hey, Pinky's here. Hey, Pinky, how much health do you have now? 330? I'm pretty sure the amount of health the slimes have increased with uh, with hard mode activating. Look at that, one gold, 75 silver. Awesome stuff. Big, big fan of that. Cheers, buddy. Right, okay, uh, I just need to make a crafting table and a door. I found this little pond here. It's kind of secluded. I didn't really see it on the map because I'm a bit of a dum-dum, as you guys well know. But, yeah, this seems like a pretty... Pretty legit area to do a little bit of surface fishing. So let me just go ahead and uh, do a wee bit of digging. Let's just make it look a little bit nicer. Hopefully all of the background should be that green grass stuff. And it is indeed... Man, these guys are doing damage. Blimey. They do a pretty crazy amount of damage, actually. I'm actually kind of concerned. Right, I need to try and seclude this preferably, so I'm going to do something here. See if we can't get it looking good. Okay, just want to seclude it so no other bugger can come down here and wreck my day. Right, there we go. Okay, and as long as I'm in here, nobody will be able to get me. Okay, cool. So, on with the fishing. Oh, holy moly, that's really early to get a gold crate. Wow, that's quite something. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a whole bunch of hard mode uh, bars from that, because I believe that's something you can get. Cool. All right, onwards. Strange feeling when you get more gold crates than iron crates. Hmm, how strange. So we now have a total of 18 crates to open, which is pretty freaking cool. Let's just do a little bit of the old uh, quick stacky action. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, we've got the old fishing stuff, so I'm going to put that in there. Uh, we'll keep the bug net out just because it's kind of useful. And then, of course, we've got the bait right here. Right, okay. Oh, that's right, we've got another crate in here. So actually, we've got 17 crates. No, 19 crates. I can't do maths, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the furniture chest? Uh, oh, more fishing bait in there. That's interesting. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. We're going to do the wood ones first. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Holy guacamole. There was a lot of things in there. What have we got? Adamantite, we've got apprentice bait, that's kind of cool. We've got a tsunami in a bottle, don't really need that. We've got some hard mode ores, we've got obsidian skin potions, they're pretty nice. We've got an enchanted sundial, which is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, I'm going to put this in. Where should I put it? Where should I put it? I'm going to put it right here. Eh, eh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, doesn't need to go outside? I would imagine maybe that's the case. Uh, so let's put it right there. There we go. Boom! Yeah, get skipped ahead, son. Ooh. That's awesome. I love that thing. So now we can see if there's another blooming quest. And there is. Caught in cabins. Fishotron. <laughs> Fishotron. That sounds amazing. All right. But yeah, aside from that, we've got a pretty pretty significant amount of cool stuff, actually. Uh, I would like to maybe get some chests out and put them down and put hard mode stuff in them. So where's our furniture chest? Right here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's use uh, let's use mahogany chests just because. Right. Okay. So I have one there, one there, and then maybe we'll have a few more. Boom, 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 boom. Go there, go there, and let's have a torch just 
there. Why not? Okay, so here we go. This is where the hard mode ores are going to go. So we've got palladium, adamantite, and all kinds of other stuff. We haven't even broken any altars yet. We should probably do that, shouldn't we? That would be a good idea. Okay. <laughs> all right. Iron crates. Three, two, one. Boom, boom. A falcon blade. Okay, that thing's pretty good. Got some journeyman bait as well. Not bad. This falcon blade is pretty decent, but unfortunately, the knockback... I don't know, man. It's not... It's just not as good. I don't think it does as much damage per second as the uh, Fiery Greatsword. Although, I don't know. That's got very fast speed. That's got very slow speed. Hmm. If I can get a legendary reforge on this thing, it might actually be a viable thing to use. Right. Okay, so potions. Boom, 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 boom. And... Here we go. Gold crates. Three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yep. Some of that. Uh, greater healing potions. Wow, that's going to be really, really useful, actually. Wow. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to unfavor them and put them in there. Let's favor that. Uh, we've got tsunami in a bottle. We've got to put that in the accessories chest. Got to put the bait away. We've got ten more of this stuff, man. It's so awesome. Okay. Wow. We've got a really nice amount of bait right now. This is brilliant. <laughs> really happy. Okay, so uh, what's that? Calming potion. Okay, put that away as well. Okay, so as I was saying, we've got some uh, we've got some altars to destroy, haven't we? So we need to go to the corruption biome. There's one right here, of course, and we need to destroy some things. So yeah, I'm gonna go over to the corruption and we're gonna start breaking some things down. Alrighty, guys, here we go. We have cobalt. We have mithril. Let me guess, adamantite. Oh, it's titanium. Oh, okay. <laughs> Normally, you get either one set or the other. You get the 1.1 set or the 1.2 set, which is 1.1 uh, is cobalt, mithril, and adamantite. And then, of course, the 1.2 set is... What is it? It's palladium, it's orocalcum, and it's titanium. But it's actually mixed it this time, which is pretty interesting. Oh, God, this is going to get... Uh, so many guys! Kill them all! Oh, look at that! We've got a fast clock already! Brilliant! That's already an accessory for the eventual Ankh charm. Brilliant. Big fan of that. There we go. Bees knees very much still doing its job. Ah, that's fantastic. I love that, man. Can't believe we've got some blooming fast clock already. I wonder if this guy's going to drop vitamins. If he drops vitamins, we're going to be freaking good to go, man. All right, come on. Unfortunately, there's not a great deal of altars inside of this biome, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I can't see any more on the map. There's a couple up here, maybe? I can see one. Oh, there's two. Okay. There's a couple more to get up here. Alright, let's go grab these ones, shall we? Ah, so that's interesting to know. Apparently, I only have two corruption biomes, the normal corruption biomes, in the entire world. What? This is a medium world and there's only two corruption biomes? Man, that is a ripoff right there. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that's that's interesting, to say the very least. Okay, uh, blocks and walls. You go in there, you go in there. Uh, I've got a fast clock, let's put that away, because that's where it belongs. Okay, but yeah, aside from that, everything's looking pretty cool. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves a significant amount of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and reforge this falcon blade. Like I said, it might actually be a viable weapon to use early hard mode. So here we go. Hey, buddy. All right, sharp. 43 damage. Legend. Oh, well, there we go. Well. <laughs> Pretty sure this one would do more damage per second considering its speed compared to the fire, Fiery Greatsword. Uh, right, okay. I mean, cool. That's that's pretty freaking sweet. Okay, uh, so we have a Muramasa. We have a Grass Blade. We've got the Legendary uh, Fiery Greatsword. And we have this thing here. We should be able to make ourselves... Yeah, we should be able to make ourselves the uh, non the Knight's Edge, right? Right, uh, now where's the guy? Where? Oh, what? He's over there? What the hell, man? I got... Ugh. You really are a pain in the bum, aren't you? Good lord. I can't believe he's way over there, dude. That's, that's not really useful, is it, now? <laughs> oh, man. What is up with that guy? Okay, well, I'm not going to go over to him and see what he has because, quite frankly, I can't be bothered to. So, instead, we're going to do the fishing quest and we're going to see what we get from it. Ah, there we go. Fishotron. Awesome. Also managed to grab myself three crates out of that, so let's open them again. Oh, man, we get so much stuff from all of this, man. This is really, really blooming cool, actually. <laughs> right, uh, hey, buddy. Right, you're gonna see what we get. Uh, crate potions again, and apprentice bait. 
Wow. I'll tell you something. We're doing really, really well today, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Time to organize our inventory again. Alrighty, guys. Here we are beside another demon altar. I must admit, I kind of feared that I destroyed them all, but luckily I didn't. So, we're still good on that front. Uh, if that guy could die, that'd be fantastic. Alright, here we go. We should be able to make the Knight's Edge now. Here we go. 53 damage, and it is a default one. Mm, average speed. I still don't know if this is going to be as good as my Falcon Blade. Strong knockback. What's that got? Average knockback. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess we can go reforge it and see what kind of things we can get, but I don't think it's going to be as good as the Falcon Blade, in all honesty. Here we go. Murderous. It's got speed on it. Fast speed, still average knockback. Small, strong, keen, ruthless. Wow, 63 damage. Blimey. That is a lot of damage. I tell you what, I'm going to have both of them equipped, okay? We'll see how, it, how we go and see which one we prefer using. 63 damage, that, that is a lot. That is a lot. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, cool. Right, okay. And the final thing I'm going to do in this episode is we're just going to go through the things that we got from the crates really quickly. Uh, all of the ores. Okay, looking good. And then we need to go over to the forge over here and make ourselves some palladium bar. Oh, we have palladium and not coke. Ah. Wait, what? No. What am I on about? No, oh, I'm on about nothing. That's all right. Okay, here we go. Uh, can't make any... No sign of a pickaxe, unfortunately. Well... Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll save up everything until we have enough to do something with it, I guess. But, yeah, we don't really have too much of anything. But I tell you what, guys, I think on that note, we're going to be ending the episode today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop me a like, rate, my friends. It'd be much appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one.